Hey guys, welcome back to another week of virtual programming. My question for you guys today is what is your favorite place to eat? And this could be any place. It doesn't have to be like a specific like fancy place to eat or like fast food. Um, but yeah, comment down below what your favorite place to eat is. My favorite place to eat of all time will forever be Chick-fil-A. Their nuggets are the best guys. Like you can't, you can't fight those man. But for today's video, we're going to be um, doing uh, how to draw overlapping buildings. So it's gonna look something like this when you're done. And what you will need for this project is you can, you're gonna need a pencil or a pen, whatever you choose. Then I have an eraser, but you don't necessarily need an eraser. I just chose the eraser because I make a lot of mistakes when I draw. So yeah, but like my pencil has an eraser. So yeah, and then you have the option of using a ruler. I didn't use a ruler when I was <laughs> drawing this picture. So yeah, um, but if you want, you can. You're more than welcome to. And then any type of like coloring set so like markers crayons colored pencils um so when you draw so what i did is like for example i'm going to use a ruler today for this and i have i'm using my phone guys because i don't remember how i drew this all by myself so what you're going to do is you're going to set up your ruler however you want and then you're going to just draw a line straight up um, actually i'm going to use the pen because you can see it better okay so you're just gonna draw a line to whatever point you prefer on the paper And then you can just like even out so I don't know if you can see that but yeah it's very hard to see but basically you would have like right here you can see like the rectangle in the middle and then two different um, shapes on the outside. It doesn't necessarily have to be even, it could be odd. They're all gonna look different, they're not gonna look the same. And then what you're going to do is you're just gonna continue um, drawing out more. There we go. You're just gonna keep drawing out more like shapes behind these as you go. And I'm not gonna use a ruler this time. So like you can start from here. And then pick however big you want your shapes. And then once you have your picture, I'll see you can see it a little bit better. Maybe. Um, so if you can't see the lines, I'll probably like outline them with marker in a bit, but um, um, once you're finished, your paper should look something like this. And then you can draw like windows or you can leave them um, how they are, like just that plain building. So let me outline this real quick. Probably not gonna show it up, but that's okay. Oh, 
oh yeah you can definitely see that way better so your picture's gonna look something like this and then like how i have in this picture um you can draw like different windows you can draw like different windows like i have here and then this is what your paper should look like something like this like your shapes overlapping each other and then pretty much all you do from here is uh you draw your windows or you know they could even have doors this is all up to you and you could do like as many windows as you want as little as you want Okay, so once you're done with like all the windows and stuff, I'm gonna line them. I'm gonna outline a couple of these so you can see. What it's going to look like. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this when you're done. Um, I didn't outline all of the squares and rectangles but as you can see it's gonna look something like this and then when you're done completing your windows and stuff you can just color it and it will look something like this picture the final picture um that's all i have for you guys today uh please comment your pictures like take pictures of the drawings that you made and comment them down below because i would really love to see what you guys um came up with like different not different and I will see you guys next week. Bye.